Hey everyone, this is Jennifer with Acacia Lane Dolls. Today I'm going to show you how to restring a modern American Girl doll. And these are the ones that have the harder vinyl. Um, these are not like the squishy kinds. And you can follow the tutorial for the older American Girl dolls. But the technique I'm going to show you today is a bit easier and faster. So first let's go over what tools you're going to need today. Um, first you're going to need your crimping pliers or electrical wire strippers. You're going to want a hemostat. This one's a curved hemostat. I sell these in my shop if you need them. They're pretty inexpensive. Um, we need a pair of scissors. You can use a little wooden spoon and that'll be for restuffing the doll when we're done. And then also you're going to need some restringing supplies. This would include the four millimeter elastic. Make sure it's a good quality elastic and eight little brass ferrules. And again, if you need these supplies, I do sell them in my shop. Um, otherwise you can find them in hardware stores. Um, the ferrules you can find in the electrical department. Um, but uh, elastic you're going to find at um, craft stores. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, what I'll do first is I'll take apart the doll. What I highly, highly suggest that you do is take the doll apart from the outside. So you're just going to want to cut all the joints from the outside of the doll body. And the reason I say this is because I've made the mistake of cutting torsos before and this will help alleviate that problem. So I've cut this limb off and you can see there's the little tension cup in there with a piece of elastic in it. You're going to take your hemostat and grab the elastic from the other side and then pull it out. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of our elastic. You want to put the ferrule on the um, the end of the elastic with the lipped part facing the larger piece and just go ahead and crimp that. Okay. And since this edge is a little bit frayed, I'm going to just trim it at an angle so it's nice and sharp. Then I'm going to take the uh, lamp and let's see if we can get that domed portion facing you so you can see the um, little hole where the elastic would go and you're going to thread the elastic through that little hole. Okay, and then just push it all the way through. Okay, just like that. You're going to take your hemostat, go past the little tension cup, and fish out the end of that elastic. So here we go. It's right there. We're going to go ahead and pull it through and then push the other end of the elastic into the vinyl to the other side. So there you go. Super easy way to restring the harder vinyl limbs. All of the limbs have been restrung. Um, now what we're going to do is take out the stuffing of the torso. I wanted to show you a little trick. If your, your stuffing is a little dirty or you need to wash it, um, instead of replacing it, put it in one of these um, mesh lingerie style bags. And then when you put it in here, you can wash it without the stuffing getting everywhere. We're not going to do that with this doll, but we're going to use it as storage for now. So the body's been totally emptied of all of the stuffing. Um, right now we're going to start with the left leg. You can use any leg. I like to start from bottom to the top. We're going to filter that through. And if you lose it, it's easy to find. Just get your hemostat, pull it right back out. So we're going to pull it through this limb hole and 
same thing that we did before in the other tutorial, we're just going to make the two domes. Put a ferrule on top. You want the lipped part to go closest to the dome. You're going to pull it as tight as you possibly can. And you're going to hold, um, you're going to clamp your hemostat to where the ferrule is. So just to make it as tight as possible. Okay. It's clamped, it's ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and use my crimping pliers. Again, you can use your wire stripper. And just tighten that up as much as possible. You can clip off the excess. And then repeat on all of the limbs. Now that she's all restrung, we're going to start restuffing her. And the nice thing about this newer stuffing that American Girl uses is that you don't have to rip it apart. It's already pretty um, PC and ready to go. So what we're going to do is start with a small portion and just stuff it on the bottom at um, the seat of the torso. We want to make a nice smooth backside. And I used to just take my um, spoon, the handle, and stuff it down a little bit. Don't be afraid to just keep stuffing um, as you go to make sure that everything stays smooth. You don't have to use a spoon if you don't want to. You can use your fingers or your thumb. Um, this type of stuffing is a bit easier to work with, so um, there's no issues with that. Um, with, the, with the spoon handle, sometimes um, it won't stuff very well, so it's okay to use your fingers. That's gonna be probably the best for you in this case. And then just go ahead and take your spoon or your thumb or your finger and just make sure the little crevices around the limb cups are full and you don't want any sagging or scapping right here and you'll need to do that again up near the armholes too She's all the way restuffed and restrung. We're going to reattach her head. So we're just going to take her head, have her face you so that her hair doesn't get caught in the strings. Okay. Then we're going to crisscross the, the laces here just to get it tight around the vinyl. Just like that. Make sure any stuffing around the edge is kind of tucked in. You don't want that peeking out. Go ahead and cross it. Get it nice and tight. Then while keeping it really tight, you're going to knot it. And then we'll just do it another time. Okay twist her head around and now she's all set looking very tight thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time